In this video, we will discuss the new sales function in the inventory module. Start by clicking inventory at the top of the screen, then click on the sales menu. In the left menu, go to the sales section and then click on new sales. You will use this menu when goods are actually being released from the sale, as this menu will affect the inventory quantity from the entered location. There are two ways to enter data. If you have a large amount of data, you can do a batch upload by clicking Option in the upper right corner, then click on eCount Web Upload, and you can copy and paste the data into this field. The easiest way to do this is by clicking Download an Excel template, and you will receive an Excel spreadsheet with the columns and the proper field names. You can click on View Details, and it will show you the required field names the maximum characters, and a description if necessary. It's important to note that if you're entering domestic sales, make sure you copy and paste the data onto the domestic tab. For foreign transactions, make sure it's on the foreign sales tab. And when you're done, click save at the bottom of the screen. If you have a small amount of data, you can do a manual entry on the screen you see here. First, verify the date at the top of the screen is correct, then enter the customer, enter the location where the inventory will be released from, then select whether or not sales tax will be applied to the transaction, then select the currency type. If you have not registered a foreign currency in the system, you must do so before continuing. You can learn more by watching the foreign registration video. If expenses are incurred for this transaction, such as transportation costs, click on the Expenses button to enter the total. This will allow you to manage profits and costs associated with the item. You can view the profitability by item in the monthly profit status report. Moving on, enter the item code. Enter the quantity. As you can see, the price was automatically loaded. If you would like to adjust the price, you can click Change Price and then apply a different one. Or if you'd simply like to make an adjustment, say increase it by 5%, you can enter it. Or if you'd like to do a flat amount, you can do that too. Make sure that you have selected the items that you would like to make the adjustment to, and then click Apply when you're done. You can also verify the inventory quantity by clicking on the Inventory button. Again, the item code must be selected for you to view this information. When you're done, click Save at the bottom of the screen to save the new sales slip, or click Save and Print to view the sales slip. If you'd like to export this information to Excel, go to the upper left corner and click Excel. If you'd like to email the sales slip to the customer, you can click on the email button. If you would like to modify this template that you see here, you can easily do so by clicking on the template button. You can add new fields, adjust this information, whatever you want. Thank you for watching part one of the new sales video.